Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for Scorpio. Your Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first two weeks of March 2018. This is for Scorpio. Okay, you guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. Come on, if you like it, hit the thumbs up. It would be nice to see that reflected in the lights. If everybody liked the video, if they liked it, if they actually liked it, I would have a lot of likes. But I think people just forget. I don't think there's any malintention, at least I hope not. And also don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos, guys. I would appreciate it. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first two weeks of March 2018. Uh, Scorpio, try, try, try to watch an ego or you might be dealing with someone else who has a lot of ego energy that they will be trying to decipher and cope with in the first two weeks of March 2018. Do not allow yourself to be dragged to, into any kind of face-offs with, with others, you know. Uh, there's this energy of arguments and confrontation, but it's more based on the ego than anything else. People feeling like they want to win an argument or be the winner in the situation. Uh, and there's very little to win, by the way. There's not much to be gained by this. It's more just the principle of the matter. So the Scorpio can also be feeling like this, but it's it's it doesn't really look like it's anything that's worth it. And then if you fight or if you pursue this, it might lead to bigger trouble or bigger challenges. It might be blown up and out of proportion. And you would look back on this and think, how did this go so far? It doesn't make any sense. This can also be a situation if you want to argue and fight about something, especially from a legal standpoint, there will not be much to gain if you win this. So you would have to consider if it's really worth the investment, especially if you have to hire a lawyer or an attorney to argue and fight your case. There may not be much that you can win out of this situation. Again, this is for the first two weeks of, of March 2018. So we have this confirmation. It's a completely different deck. This is a symbol on it. We have the same energy repeating itself. I just want to show you guys those cards. You see the double crossing, double dealing, the seven of swords as well. So it's just a repetition of the same energy. Um, also, try, try to watch out accusing someone of double crossing you or others might be trying to do this to you. But it feels like the Scorpio might be feeling like someone's trying to trick them or double cross them. But it's not a very serious situation. It feels like little white lies more than anything that's uh, highly negative or highly damaging. And it's not worth perhaps uh, calling the person out on this, even if you feel a bit hurt or disappointed or even shocked by the matter, a bit shocked by it. It's more that than it is um, damaging in any way. It's more, it's let's say, it's more emotional disappointment than real damage to you. And you might be a bit, um, worried about the situation but all in all it's just more how you look at it than, than than the reality it's more your perception that's getting at you than the situation now if this is a person it can feel like again someone double crossed you or they weren't upfront and honest with you about something but it feels like a timing issue more so than anything else uh, especially if the Scorpio was seeking a commitment or a sign of a commitment it's just more the timing the timing issue whereas the Scorpio might be feeling like the person has more negative intentions behind this but it's not really the case we have the three of wands we have the two of wands so yes uh, we have the uh, ace of swords 
and we have the Knight of Wands. So again, this is this kind of prevailing, very positive energy still riding uh, this wave. Uh, the Scorpio energy is still having, if they're having any challenges or confrontations, they can be quickly resolved. Uh, it's more a time of opportunity than challenge for the Scorpio. It's a time of opportunity, a time of planning, but please plan for the future and think about the future and, and not look at this ride just for today. Look at trying to extend this ride and this positive wave into tomorrow and try to take plans accordingly, planning for your future and laying the groundwork now with these possibilities and opportunities that you have coming forward. Try not to squander them. Try to take advantage of the opportunities in all respect. But taking advantage also means finding a way to sustain it. You're looking at weeks of sustainability and extension. Excuse me, and extension. So we have the Knight of Fire, the Knight of Wands, and we have the Knight of Water from the Rider Waite. We have the King of, of Wands. So this feels like to me a, a maturity, developing maturity and also maturity in how you see the future and how you're planning today for tomorrow. Graduating, the high priestess, seeing forward, making forward plans, not just thinking of today, looking at tomorrow, and then here we go. It's just more confirmation of the energy. We have the king of coins, king, king of pentacles. Uh, it's a quite mature energy, progressive, mature energy with a lot of possibilities, a lot of opportunities developing. Um, and don't also expend energy on things that are not important, like argumentation or confrontations or fighting, because it's not important and it will just suck up your energy and creativity and even intuition if you're exhausting your energy on people or things that are not going to further your own objectives in your own life in the first two weeks of March 2018. So this is what I have for Scorpio. Let's pull a few more from the Good Tarot. We're just going to pull a few because I think with Libra we pulled like, I don't know, seven of these. So I would just like to pull two more. We have the 10, we have the 10 of coins, Scorpio, more of the same. You guys take the opportunities that are coming forward. Take the positive energy also that's coming forward and use it wisely, plan for your future. And we have the six of cups, the six of water. So for me, this is, like today, yeah, live in the moment, live in the moment, live in the moment, you know, but try to remember where you've been, six of cups, where you've been, in terms of all aspects, positive and negative, keep this, hold this with you, take it, take it and help, let it help you with your learning curve for how you're planning for your future, take that wisdom, and use it as a foundation, as a baseline for how you're planning for today, but also your future, guys. So that's what I have for Scorpio. Just another positive reading. You guys are, are, should be having a really great time. I'm really happy for you. Enjoy it. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, guys, if you like the video. And I will see you in two weeks. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.